All right, what's going on? Jay and Enkla here, coming at you with Wednesday Boot Camp. Got a fun workout plan for us today. So uh, I'll start explaining it. So today we got our no equipment workout per usual, but you have mat that I'll be utilizing and I saw floor. So if you have anything like so, I would recommend getting that out, placing it down, and doing some stuff down the floor. And so today's workout is kind of going to be three different parts. First one's going to be upper body, and then we're going to go to section. I'll leave it there. So we'll get into some other stuff. So first round is going to be upper body focus. So I'll explain what we're going to do for these. So we're going to do push-ups and prone tees for this one. 40 seconds each, 20 seconds rest. So our first round push-ups, we're going to be doing eccentric five counts on the way down. So it looks like this. One, Two, three, four, five, coming around the floor, then reset it, or push myself back up. Second one, second round is gonna be three seconds on the way down. So still controlling ourselves down, going floor a little faster. And then last round is gonna be all out max push-ups. So that's gonna be those. And then for our front seats, uh, we're down on our mat. Forehead to the floor. Palm start the ground, and then raise them up, squeezing our shoulder blade, lifting our arms straight up to the side, and lowering back down. So this one works on back of our shoulders and our upper back. So now let's get into quick warm up. So we're going to start out with some side lunges here. So standing, starting position, feet, round shoulder width, hands out from me. We're gonna do side lunge out, sink to that hip, then we reach straight overhead. We'll do two reps on each side. Sit back, reach, back center. Good job, sit that hip. Keep the other leg straight, reach, and come back to center. One more. Keep that chest up. Good. Back to center. Great work. Now, let's go into the world's way to stretch. So, this one, we can start grabbing one knee, pulling it in, hold the balance here, shoot our leg back. We want to try to keep this leg as straight as possible. We put our hand down the entire foot, rotate up, hand comes down the outside of foot, lunge back. Standing. Good job. So the other side now. Grab, grab the under that knee, stand up tall. Go ahead, lunge back. Try to keep this leg straight as you can. Hands come down to the inside of our foot. Rotate, flip into the sky. Hand comes to the outside of our foot. Lunge, stand back. Step on forward. All right, great work. Now, last thing, just get those arms. Chest ready for push ups. Good, nice circles. Feel like we're loosening up that chest a little bit. That's where it's going to jump right into these five second eccentrics. So, eccentric again on the way down. And then, if we want to do the contract phase of pushing ourselves up, we can, or we can just go ahead and reset. So, Let's get ready. Down on the mat. Again, 40 seconds, five seconds down. So we should be needed around seven to eight repetitions for this entire 40 seconds. So really focusing on controlling ourselves. We'll save the speed for later. So starting position, let's get ready. And I'll get the timer started. So hands directly under our shoulders. We're screwing our hands into the ground. We want to feel Nice and strong up through our shoulders and down throughout our entire body. So, get the time started in three, two, and one. So, right here in a nice straight position here on our knees. Control our floor five seconds down, resetting, or we can be up in our full plank position, have that straight line heels of our shoulders, or lowering down. On that five count, and 
degree second. So again, we should be targeting around seven to eight reps for the entire round. We got five more seconds, so hit the last rep. Control, 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 and reset. They work. All right, now we're going for our prone T raises. Good for strengthening again, as I mentioned, back our shoulders, upper back, loosening up the chest as well. So, okay, so our knees in three seconds. Three, two, and one. Go ahead. So, palms start facing the ground, let that outlet or find rotate them internally. So we're going to get our thumbs towards the ground as we raise up. It can help uh, squeeze our shoulder blades a little tighter. You want to imagine if we're having an object in between our shoulder blades or squeeze an object. So right in between up there, if we have an orange or apple, something like that, we squeeze it there. So three seconds, two, and one. Great job. All right, so now we're going into our three second down push ups. So for this, we're going for around 10 reps, probably. So that's around 30 seconds. So it's an extra 10 into our transition. So three, two, one. Let's do it. So down three count now. Three, two, one. Reset. Good job. Three, two, one, reset. Great work. We should be really doing this in our chest and in front of our shoulders. Reset. Keep that nice straight line, our plank the whole time. Not letting our butt drop, our butt in the air, locking down our core. Keep that straight line. Three seconds down. And finishing up your last rep here. And rest. Good job, great work. Now we're going to our uh, prone T raises again. So let's get on the floor, ready for these. So forehead down to the mat. In three, two, and one. So like the rotating your hand with this. So our thumb ends up being. So it's a position for squeezing our shoulder blades together. That's the most important part. Thank you, Nicola. I'll tell you on this one. It's just squeezing the shoulders. Blades. We got a light bend in our elbows, which is okay. We should be feeling it again. Back of our shoulders, primarily up and back. About five more seconds. Two and one. All right, good. So we say now max whole set. We got max power push ups coming up in 10 seconds. So we're going to be on our feet or our knees, but we can do either or, or we're just going to go as much as we can in three, two, and one. Go. So you want to get a nice tempo. Going quick again, but still staying down in control. So for me right here, in starting position, up on my feet, when I get too tired here, I'm gonna drop my knees, finish that. So now I'm at uh, 12 more seconds. I'm going down my knees, finish this up. Chest should be fine right now. Five seconds, push in. Two and one. Good job. Gotta shake the arms out. Shake that chest out. We're done with push up today. Thank you, sir. So now, last round, front teeth, then I'll get into our next thing. So, really close. In three, two, one. Good. Think about driving the shoulders together. Lowering down. Like nice. Breaking up those chest muscles in there. Squeezing the back together. Thank you. Really want to focus on that squeeze. 
It'd be hard to do these uh, kind of movements, uh, back movements, body weight, so we've got focus. One rather than shoulder, shoulders, and our arm, but we do shoulder legs. Three, two, and one. Good job. We'll stop the timer now. Got a of the water in my hand. We're going to go to the next section. So now we're going to get into our core work. So we're going to do two exercises for this. So, well, first one is going to be heel taps. This is working on our upper core, kind of our middle core muscles. So for heel taps, starting position, hands or feet flat on the floor, palms up out to the side, heel touches. This is what it sounds like. We're touching our heels. So 40 seconds on, we're going to crunch up slightly and then reaching back and forth, touching my heel to my finger. And obviously, the further we, obviously, but the further we have our feet away, the further our crunch will be. So the closer I have my butt, the shorter the rotation. So there's that. And next, what we're going to do is going to be hip thrusts, side plank hip thrusts. See, this is really good for our sides or for our obliques. So for this one, we're, this is our end position up here. And then arm can be up, down, or if comfortable. We're lowering our hips to the floor. And then as they can touch, or just before they touch, shoot them back up. So this one, we really will emphasize this side closer to the floor. That's where we should be doing this. So we have 20 seconds each side of those with those heel taps. So I'm gonna go ahead, resume timer. Let's get this floor out of the way. So 15 seconds we'll start with heel taps. Core uh, training is really important. Connects our upper body to our lower body. We need to be really strong in our core training. So three. Two and one. We're trying to get a nice pace here. Palms are up. Our shoulders are up full time. We're trying to let them drop the floor for the entire 40 seconds. If we need a rest and we need to drop them low. Yeah, it's totally okay. Just pop back into it. Okay, we're up, we got 10 more seconds. Go up there strong. Five, two, and one. Great work. All right, now let's get on to our side. Get ready for these uh, hip thrust side planks. So, again, starting position. Feet stacked, forearm on the floor. Arm up or down, doesn't matter. In three, two, one, and shoot those steps out. And lowering down some control, shoot it back up. Good. 20 seconds each side. Doing this on our side and our obliques closer to the mat. In three, two, one, switch sides. Good. Want to get into our good finish and position side plank. So a nice straight line in the top position here. Three, two, and one. Rest. Good. All right, now let's go back. Do a few taps again. We got a couple more seconds of rest. In three, two, one, crunch up, and we go on the heel taps. So remember, be breathing during these. It's pretty hard. We're just going all out, nonstop on these. So remember, 
to breathe. So we need to do Take a short breath. Deep breath is not to do. Get back into it. We got eight more seconds here. And three, two, and one. Great work. All right, now let's go back to our hip thrusts. I'm gonna start on the other side this time to make sure I just doing as close to an even amount of breath as possible on both sides. So three, two, one, and go. Hold that up top position on our thrust. Locking that side leg. Feel like our side, our obliques, touch on the ground right here. Sit on fire. Third on four. Three, two, one. Switch sides. Great work. Let's hold that top position down and slow. Drive the hips up, hold it, feel that side burning, lower down. And good. And three, two, and one. Not good. We do our last round now. Starting back on heel taps. Five seconds. Three, two, and one. Palms up, shoulders off the ground, and go. Again, feet position determines how far we need to go. So last round here, we're tired. We can move them close to our butt. We'll focus on finishing this strong. 15 more jackets. Stay out the whole time again. The no star push through. Five more seconds, let's go. In three, two, and one. Good. Ooh. Yeah, that's a good one. For sure. All right, now last time, hip thrusts. 10 seconds, so we'll start on knees. Side plank hip thrusts. Not regular hip thrusts, I should say. And we're up, and go. Hold the top as much good as we can the top set. Good. Drop down slow. Five to six up. Three seconds. Two and switch sides. Down here. Good. Just gonna finish this one strong. Five more seconds, two of those lifts up, down, three, two, and one. All right, good. All right, definitely grab some water now. Go ahead, get ready for this next round. We're not for our next final circuit. Now I'm fixing my timer. Very good. All right. Lastly, we've done the body, we've done the core, flat leaves, legs. Everyone's favorite. So for these, we're gonna do in squats, just squat jumps. A lot of squatting. Hope we're feeling like going on squat today. So it's gonna be three rounds, 40 seconds, squat, straight into 20 seconds, squat jumps. So our squats, we are at around shoulder width or a little bit further for us taller people. So for here, we're squatting. I like to think of should sit in a chair. So I'm imagining a chair right here. I'm just sitting down into it, keep my back flat, come back up. So right here, grab the number, big toe lift up heel. Come back out. So 40 seconds there. After our 40 seconds, we'll call out jumps. And then here, squat down, explode up, jump up, hang on toes, drop our heels down, explode up there. 
So squat jumps, squat, set things up. But just three rounds, we can do it. We're going to take 30 seconds off after our 40 seconds, 20 seconds. So a little extra time there to rejuvenate. So we got the timer going. 10 seconds for you to start on these squats. So remember, be around shoulder width, of course, as straightforward as possible. In three, two, and go. Good. Arms can be out to our side, pull in front of us, wherever we're feeling like they should go to that. I like to have them right in front of me. Especially if it's being a little tight, can help me see, think deeper. My squat. Good. We got 10 more seconds, and then into our squat jumps. Good. Three, two, one, and jumps. So jump it up as high as you can, lay these off. Good. Eight seconds. So if it's strong, explode up. Two and one. All right, 30 seconds of rest. Shake those legs out. Good. We got two more rounds. And we're done. Got this. Got 15 more seconds. Shake those legs out. Get ready. In three. Two and one. So if you're like retired on this one, just want to focus a little extra on form. Slow it down. Make sure squat as deep as you can while keeping this back flat. I don't want to squat too deep or my low back and arch, but just deep enough and keep that big flat. Good. 10 more seconds until the jump again. Good job. Almost ready. Three, two, and jumps. Go. Slow it up. Landing soft. Slowing down. Using that stored energy. Transfer it up. Five seconds. Two and one. All right, 30 seconds off. Then our last round. Thought I would say just for last, since you all want to be done after this, I'm sure. Good. We got 10 more seconds. Start this last round. Take some deep breaths. Get ready. Three. Two and one. Walk down slow, drive out those quads. Good work. Sitting down on that chair, now to the top, just tapping it, slow it back up. Great work. Good. Row set, 10 seconds. Better jump start for the last time. Good. Are you ready? In three, two, and go. Lady soft. Exploding up as high as I can. Got 10 seconds. We're finishing this workout strong. Let's go. Come on, we're gonna finish this thing. Three. Two and one. Good. Go ahead. Shake that out. Grab some water. Definitely all this through. Quick cool down now. Stretch out those legs. So once we're ready, go ahead. Join me down on the mat. So I'll start. By working on your center heart rate, taking 
some big deep breaths here. I'll do some windshield wipers, flow back and forth. So windshield wipers, arms up to my side right here. Feet and knees are stacked together. I'm just rotating down to one side, back to the other. Keeping my shoulders, upper body on the mat. No change in position then. Good. And good. Time right now, I'm going to sit up, go into a, a crossover kind of script. I'm blanking on the exact name right now, but go ahead, grab a hold of one leg, hold it in tight. Now I'm using my same side for sport, placing the hand down behind me, placing right below my elbow off the feet, getting a good stretch and rotation through there. Good, take some deep breaths here. Good job. Around my head, let it release. Go over to the other side. So I'm grabbing this other leg, pulling in tight, keeping my same side, hand behind for support. Arm crosses over at the side step. Again, nice rotation. Through there. This will give a nice stretch in the hip as well as through the mid and low back. Really like this one. Taking some deep breaths and then release and come back middle. All right. Well, that will do it for today's boot camp. Hope you guys like the format. Again, my Jay Nick I teach this boot camp on Wednesday at 12, as well as exercise with Exos on Thursdays at 12. So if you like more, enjoy this class and want to see more, hope to see you in them. And hope, hope you have a great rest of your day. All right, bye.